Thank you very much. You know, before I introduce our keynote speaker, I would like to take a moment to recognize a few people that um, are really the epitome of dedicated service. And Woody, would you please come up and join me on stage and, and help me with this? Howard Crowfelder Pfeiffer has been involved in more ELFA professional development and training related activities than probably anyone. He is one of the founding members of the ELFA Credit Committee, Credit and Collections Committee, serving as its chair for six years. He helped develop the ELFA's uh, training program still in use today. Programs like the effective credit underwriting, uh, videos on detecting leasing fraud and getting it right, and the self-study online course, Financial Statement Analysis. He has been the lead instructor for the Principles of Equipment Leasing and Finance workshops for the past 13 years. Along with teaching the fundamentals of credit and collection seminars, Howard, uh, along with teaching the uh, credit and collection seminars, Howard is retiring this year and he will be greatly missed. Howard, there's one more thing that we'd like for you to do for us before you settle into retirement. Could you please come up to the stage and accept this token of our appreciation? Good morning all. Uh, Woody, Crit, thank you very much for the presentation of this uh, outstanding service award. It's humbling to get something from the association like that. Um, I'd like to say a couple of acknowledgments. Uh, obviously, thank my wife who's uh, put up with me for 30 years with, through all of these uh, career changes and teaching and everything else. Also from, from the association, um, Alexa Carnabella and uh, Janet Fianco have been of immense assistance on all the teaching and working with Leslie all these years, uh, some 26 years with regards to the volunteer time and then the teaching time, it's been most enjoyable. Um, my good buddy Bob Golden has joined me here today. He volunteered uh, four years ago to join the teaching staff and uh, Andy Meshes is also here, be receiving an award, uh, has been kind enough to step up to the podium to teach. Uh, if next year replacing me. Um, I'd like to just talk about one other thing. This is a personal opinion of mine. Assets not on your balance sheet. Uh, and I'm not talking about FASB 13. I'm talking about funding sources and people, personnel. They don't appear on your balance sheet, but they're extremely important. And Alpha is able to support you in both of these goals from the standpoint of the funding exposition in the spring in Chicago every year and through the teaching uh, classes uh, through Leslie Sterling's group, Principles of Leasing and Beyond the Basics. Uh, they're two good classes. The basics one was just added uh, last year. Um, you can help your association, and we've heard Crit talk about volunteers, and that's one of the best ways to give more of your time, participate in training events. And one other thing I'd like to say, it's been my honor over these 13 years to have an impact on some 2,800 people, some of whom are probably out here working their way through their organizations. But I taught 118 classes, 91 of them were principles of leasing, and I've enjoyed every one of them. So I thank you all and enjoy your careers. Thanks again, Howard. I edited that way. That's good. I like that. <laughs> now I'd like to recognize the winner of the 2012 Distinguished Service Award. This award is given annually to recognize the achievements of individuals and the outstanding contributions that they have made to the ELFA and the industry. This year's award goes to Andy Meshes of the Altus Group, uh, Alta Group. Andy has been an active member of the Equipment Leasing and Finance Association for many years. He spent much of his time in his career at Key Equipment Finance, where he served in a variety of capacities, including Executive Vice President of Risk Management and Chief Risk Officer. He has been instrumental in setting the direction for the ELFA Credit and Collections Committee, serving as its chairman for three years, and as a member of the committee for nearly 20 years. Over the course of his career, Andy has spoken at numerous ELFA conferences and, uh, and workshops. In 2013, he will be the lead instructor, taking over for Howard, for the ELFA Principles of Leasing and Finance Workshop. 
Andy has contributed to the association's advocacy efforts. He has served on the association's Basel II advisory group, helping regulators to recognize the unintended problems in regulatory language uh, related to leasing capital requirements for residuals, which, is a, uh, which led to the, uh, a very decisive change in the language. Andy, please join Woody and me and accept this token of our appreciation. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Crit and Woody. This is really quite an honor for me. Um, I have been in the financial services industry for 40 years. And when I finished school, I must admit, I had no thoughts of being a leasing guy. I went into the field of commercial banking, but after 10 plus years, I decided I wanted a change. And I answered an ad for a credit manager with US leasing. I was hooked. And 30 years later, I am still hooked on equipment finance. The industry has given me a great career, and through my affiliation with ELFA, I've been able to develop a network of colleagues and close personal friendships. I've been involved with the ELFA for 20 years, and while I have endeavored to give back to the industry and to the association, my service has certainly not been a selfless effort. It has been and continues to be a self-rewarding venture. I'd like to thank my wife, Susan, for all of her support and to be acknowledged by the association with this totally unexpected and gratifying award is a great honor and very much appreciated. Again, many thanks. Thanks again.